Hi guys, Anthony Trainer here. You're gonna get to know me today. I'm a certified personal trainer. I'm a graduate from the University of Western Ontario. I studied kinesiology, which is like health sciences. I'm 22 years old, I'm Canadian. Today, I'm gonna give you a bunch of tips on how to reach your fitness goals. You're gonna be surprised on how you can relate with me. I lost over 40 pounds. I had hernia surgery. I was bullied a lot, social anxiety, didn't have a lot of friends. I got into sports for that reason. So I started playing soccer, I played football, I ran track, and I got into the gym at 14. So I've been lifting for eight years. So we're going to dive into a bunch of different tips. The first thing I always tell my clients is you got to set goals and they don't got to be big goals by any means. But if you set small goals that you know you can achieve, it's going to be the best because you want it to be like a completion. You know, you want to get a little bit done at each time and that's going to motivate you to get the next one done. And the best thing is, guys, is we're forming those habits. Like if you're getting in the habit of achieving goals, that's the best habit to have. So I want you guys to set small goals that you know you can achieve and then go from there. Oftentimes we start out too big and we try to do so much at once and we set such high expectations for ourselves. So when we don't achieve it, we feel like, oh, I suck or I'm not good enough. But that's not the case. Consistency, consistency, consistency. I can't say that enough. You got to be consistent because that's what's going to get you to your goals. That's what's going to get you out of bed. That's what's going to get you those results that you're looking for. How to be consistent. That's the challenging thing. But personally, I would say the best way you're going to be consistent is by doing what you love. If you're going to the gym, you don't know what to do. And you're like, oh, I hate this workout. Do the exercises you like. For example, when I go to the gym, I like to use the Stairmaster. I'm crazy like that. But I personally do not like using the bike or the elliptical. For me, I choose the cardio equipment that I like to use, or there's certain exercises I just can't stand. I don't like doing. Personally, I don't like deadlifting. For you guys, if there's an exercise that you really, really want to do, go ahead and do it. Oftentimes, people think that they have to do this exercise or have to do that exercise. So for example, if you don't like ab workouts, don't do them. Do something else instead that's going to get you those results. So for example, if you want to see abs, maybe focus on shedding that fat down first. The gym is uncomfortable. You're going to have to get used to that. That's the hard thing, guys, is because we expect like social media, we see everyone having fun, having a good time. It looks like it's a blast. It is for sure. But at the same time, you do still get sore from the gym. You do still feel, you know, tired afterwards, especially if you're new to the gym. So those first two to three weeks are really the hardest weeks of the gym because you might feel lost. You don't know what you're doing. You feel beat up after going to the gym. It takes a lot of time to know where to go. Something might happen at the gym. I totally understand. But at the same time, you got to go through it. And if you want to minimize that you could work out at home and so gradually work up but at the same time i think it's important that you go through that and that you see what works best for you because if you're trying to understand yourself you want to reach those goals, right? The best way you're going to do that is by being comfortable in your own skin. Go and do that thing that makes you uncomfortable and get comfortable with it. We need that uncomfort to get more comfortable. What I'm saying is there will be moments where you just don't want to go. There will be times where you're doing an exercise and you're like, wow, I'm getting sore from this. If you're doing an exercise and you feel pain, like I mean pain, like it hurts, stop. But if I'm doing like a bicep curl and I can feel my bicep being worked, I'm like, wow, I'm getting quite the burn. I'm not just going to start feeling the burn, then stop. You know, work through that burn. I always say once I feel the burn, that's when the set starts. So aim to do maybe a few more reps while you feel that burn in that muscle. And that's going to be really where you see those gains. Another thing a lot of people don't do when they go to the gym is they forget to stretch. They forget to recover. Foam rollers are awesome. Massage guns are awesome. But I would really recommend just stretching. You know, get that stretch in because you got to be ready for the next day. Are you warming up? Are you cool? cooling down, you got to do it. You got to have the right exercises to do before the workout. And I recommend just getting your heart rate up. If you're going to do like a chest day and shoulder day or leg day, do the exercises that are for it. So for example, before I start my leg day, I might do leg swings. I might do some squats that are body weight. And I might just kind of get comfortable in my own skin, moving my legs around. You can go to the gym with a friend. I personally like to work out on my own because I like to be dependent on myself. I personally find when I train with a friend, I go for too long or they might want to leave early and it messes up the vibe like I want to stay longer or they feel tired so then it like ripple effects on me however there will be times like you know once a week or once every other week I'll get my friend and we'll go hit a gym session together but I try on a regular basis to depend on myself and I think that's what you should try to do too we touched on this a little bit earlier but I want you guys to build discipline not motivation because motivation won't stick for a long time discipline will so I want you to get in those habits of stretching hydration going to the gym eating right that's going to build that discipline that's going to keep you going but you know just looking 
for that little bit of motivation here and there to get out of bed. That's not what we need. Please, please, please do not give up. Believe in yourself because there is only one you. You can definitely make these goals happen. I'm not going to sit here and tell you to try something new when it can be scary to try something new at the gym where you don't know what you're doing and you feel lost, right? So what I will say is maybe on your own, try something new. And when you go to the gym, do what you know. There are a ton of body weight exercises that you can practice. You can look it up online, videos and exercises that you can do and practice because then when you go to the gym, you can do it. The thing with the gym, a lot of the machines, even I will not know what to do. And then I'll be like, oh, it's just this little button or little thing I got to move like this or lever that I got to move up. But you feel embarrassed or you feel uncomfortable trying to learn that, right? So when you go to the gym, do what you know. And then as time goes on, if you see that the gym isn't too busy, go ahead and try out that new machine that you wanted to try or ask a staff member to show you how to use it. That's what they're there for, right? But sometimes, you know, we both know that doesn't happen. When should I work out? I always get asked that. My question to you is when do you have the most energy? That's when you work out. When you feel like you can put time aside for yourself and do that self-care, that's when you work out. The gym is self-care guy. Wow, we talked about a lot today. I really do feel like you can make these goals happen between you and I. Everyone watching this, I really do believe you can do it. But listen to me, do not keep saying later. Go and do a little bit today. Do something today. Believe in yourself. There's only one you. Come on, let's go. You can make this happen, but you gotta make it happen now and stop saying later because these goals that you have are waiting to be achieved and your body wants new goals and new goals and new goals. So I believe in you. Did you find this video helpful? Comment below what you thought about it and don't forget to share it around. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Johnny555 and my channel is Anthony Trainer. Go check it out as well and subscribe.